Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another brand new video and today I'm with my cat and we're doing another best of three but today we're on Warzone because Warzone just got released so we're going to do Warzone best of three. Three topics today. We're going to go through them. Let's run it. Ow. Alright, so um, the, the three topics we have today are Warzone. Obviously we're going to talk about Warzone. We're going to talk about rude customers and we're going to talk about selfishness. I'll explain the third one. third one's kind of vague. We'll explain that more. But first again, we're going to talk about Warzone. Um, the day I'm recording this is the second day. It's about it's Wednesday. You'll probably see it on a Thursday. But this has been so much fun so far. I've loved Warzone. It's actually kind of difficult. Like, I've had a lot of fun playing it. But I've played, like, I think 16 games. And I've yet to win. Um, but I just can't help myself from queuing up and playing again. Like, there's so many things I love about that. I'll go more in depth as we keep playing. But... I think it's the simplicity combined with it just being Call of Duty and the fast-paced action has just got me hooked to keep playing more. There's a free down. I think my kill record so far on Warzone isn't anything too high. I think it's like 8 or something like that. So it's nothing crazy, but um, the game is also like pretty forgiving in the sense that like you have the... Um, gulag system where if you die you can get into 1v1 to respawn i mean that's a pretty like simplistic way to get an extra life if you all you have to do is win one 1v1 you don't have to kill one person to get a whole nother life that's kind of forgiving so i i like that especially i mean it helps a lot out for new players um and then also on top of that there's also like the respawn system where you can just straight up buy your players or buy your teammates back once again super helpful because i mean you literally can buy your teammates for $4,500. And there's also the self-revive you can buy in the in the store. So, I mean, there's several ways you can get yourself back. So, it's a very forgiving game, which makes it very easy to, like, keep playing. And it, like, it keeps me from raging as well because um, it just, um, I, I have so many chances to respawn. There we go, baby. We win a quick 1v1 and we're coming back just like that. Um, but, the, you know, the game does have its, you know, its issues and whatnot. It's not perfect by any means. I mean, for our first day launch, it's not bad. Um, I'd say it actually went pretty well. We're going to redeploy. Um, but, you know, it, it obviously it can use some work. I mean, no game's perfect at launch or anything like that. So, um, but, you know, it's, I, I feel like for a couple things that needs helps with is like, it doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has that many like weapon options. I feel like it could use some more weapon options. Um, and then it seems like the, the streaks you can buy are, you can, you, they're, they're too cheap. And you can use many times so people like just save them for the last circle and then you know people just spam streaks and that can be annoying um that's something i don't like and can kind of ruin the end game so that's something you really got to be careful with you want to make sure you're getting that right i'm sure they'll put out you know some um some uh oh my god that just scared the fucking shit out of me the vehicles in this game though are pretty nice and uh you can really like have so much control over the vehicles um, I actually really like what they've done with it um, you know the ranking up system and everything it's really good so I'm actually it, it came out for day one better than I thought it would be and it's got a lot of potential in the future they've said they're gonna keep updating it and everything like that so it should stay popular or at least stay populated and have new events at a decent pace so you know I'm excited to see what they do with it because this is something I could always come back to and keep playing over and over again um, if I want to play Battle Royale that's Call of Duty style. Um, I don't know if I prefer it over Blackout. Um, I think it's a lot more simplistic and I like the like the armor system is way better than it is in Blackout. Um, so it's, it's definitely got its potential to be better than Blackout. Some people already think it is. I'm not so sure, but uh, it's got a lot of potential. So I'm excited for what it has store in store for us for the future. Oh my god, <laughs> I just ran like it over and downed him. No, no, there's so many of them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that was good running him over though, that was funny. We may be out of this game right now, but we do have Perk Pirate and Big Yuji on our team. Clan Tag Drip, so we should win this game. The only thing I hope that they do add at some point is like solos or duels or, or something, because right now it's only trios. And it's like it's, it's kind of clunky like sometimes I like I'd rather like for this I'd rather play solos if I could but I have to play with other teammates so you know I just hope at some point they add new modes new LTM stuff like that and um, just keep it fresh the pregame lobby is pretty dope you can like strip use weapons and just kill people straight out of the air 
which is pretty dope. You can make for some fun trick shots. All right, game two, we're gonna talk about rude customers. And this literally happened to me like 30 minutes before recording this video. This really happened two minutes before I got off and I came home and started recording this. So this is like brand new when it happened to me. So we're gonna talk about it. Oh no. Someone on each side of me. Got one. He took the tack rover and just dipped. I hope that wasn't your teammate. If it was, it was a shitty ass teammate. All right, so this literally happened two minutes before I got off of work. So this kind of like put like a sour ending to my to my shift. It was going fine. The last two minutes, this woman came up to order a drink, and uh, I rung it up for her, and she didn't like like the price. She was like, "That's more expensive than people normally charge me here," and I was like, "Well, this is the price it's supposed to be." So. Um, I don't know, people either aren't ringing you up correctly or or something because this is what uh, people should be charging you for this drink. And it was her first time ordering the drink for me, so I, I'm assuming she just thinks I was overcharging her. And she didn't like that response I gave her, but I mean, it, it's, it's the truth. I was like, someone's not charging you the correct amount or something because that's what people should be charging you. So she got angry that it started going back and forth with me about it. Um, and I, she handed me a five and I was like, it, it's five fifty-eight. Uh, you got 58 cents left. And she goes, wow, you are so rude. And then started murmuring some stuff at me and then walked out. And I was like, well, I don't know what to fucking tell you. I mean, that's what we charge for drinks here. So it was just like, oh, fuck. Okay, cool. I'm fucking down and I'll just secure the point. Easy. 12 and 2. Uh, I'm, I love actually going to Gulag. Like, I don't love dying. But going to Gulag, knowing I win most of the time, is kind of fun. Makes me feel better about myself. Um, but, yeah. So she was just really rude. And then she left. Thank God. I was, like, really getting sick and tired of it. Um, so that was just, like, a really sour way to end my day. Like, she was cool until like, she was like, you're charging me the wrong amount. And I was like, that's just what we charge people. And that was too much for her. So she started getting all personal with me and then walked out. And I was like, cool. There's fucking three of them, dude. This game is actually so hard to play alone. You don't have, like, anyone to communicate with if you're not playing with your friends. All right. He's got enough money to bring one person back. Who's it going to be? Not me. Can't say I'm surprised because I think he's playing with his friend. They have enough money, they're bringing me back. I'm back in the game. One more chance. Oh, let's go. Let's see if I can drop straight for this loadout drop. I actually might get a nice setup right back into this game. Yeah, I've had some really rude customers in the past. Way more rude than that one. But that's just one that just happened to me today. So I just thought I would throw that in there because they can be so annoying. And they, it really feels like they try to get under your skin. That's just the number one thing is just you can't let them get under your skin because... You know, you're going to get them more than once. You're going to get them a lot. So you got to just kind of roll with the punches. We're getting fucking bombarded by precision airstrikes. Some team's hunting us, so they decide that they're going to do this. All right, this game th this game three and our topic for number three is going to be... It's actually, it's actually related to coronavirus with the whole selfishness part. Um, but, I mean, this is like selfish, selfish. Like, kind of scary selfish. All right, so for this game... Uh, I was at work in the morning and um, we had just gotten a fresh shipment of all of our hand sanitizer because people had bought it all because of coronavirus and um, so we put like we had like 60 more we put them on the shelf within five minutes they're gone this lady comes in and buys all 60 of them because we didn't have a limit on how on how many you could buy she came in and bought all of them this older lady does um, and then this she checks out and she buys her stuff and then um this old older guy comes up to her and was like oh i see you bought all the hand sanitizer can i buy one bottle from you just 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 so i have one and she said no she had 60 bottles and she said no to this old guy who couldn't have one of 60 bottles like, when you're that old, coronavirus is, like, life or death, potentially. So, to um, have someone say no to one bottle out of 60 was just crazy. So, then they got into an argument and the whole thing. And it's just, like, 
you couldn't give up one bottle of 60 like that's just that's just mind-blowing to me like i can't believe that um like that's like I, that's what i mean by selfish like i mean one bottle i mean people were saying that she's probably gonna actually resell them oh no What's up, boy? So because she did all that and bought all those bottles, we had to put a limit on how many you can buy now. So now you can only buy five of one item. But it's like, like, like you, like now with the whole coronavirus thing, it's the last time. It's the worst time to like be super selfish and not want to like share and help others. Like, especially for older people, where this could be potentially deadly. Like, it's just kind of sad because like he just wanted one bottle and she wouldn't give him one, and it's just like. They got into an argument and like we had to separate them, but I really just wanted to like find another bottle or just take one of hers and give it to her, honestly. No, please, teammate! I kill I killed one down the other one and this just won't help. There's another win in gulag. I'm coming back again, baby. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I fucking well, that's the end of that. So, yeah. Warzone is difficult without friends to communicate and talk with, but it's still fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this best of video video. Make sure you leave down below videos, ideas, and questions you guys have for me. Uh, hashtag Anthony for my as always. Torch Twitter down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me